very good morning students welcome to another lecture on uh, control systems engineering in the previous session we have discussed about polar plot how we have to draw the polar plot and uh, how we have calculated phase margin gain margin in today's class we are going to discuss about the compensation techniques so what is compensation and how many types of compensations are there and what are the compensation techniques what we are going to use in this lead lead uh, sorry in this uh, control systems for obtaining a better stability so compensation of the control systems is nothing but in order to improve the performance of a system we are adding an another device for a better output that is the outcome of this compensation see in practice if a system is to be redesigned for example we have a initially we have 3g phones after that after some modification in the uh, mobile uh, apps we have gone for 4g now we are ready to phase 5G. That means we are just redesigning the system to meet the requirement of the customer. That is, uh, see here, in practice, if a system is to be redesigned so as to meet the required specifications, it is necessary to alter the system by adding an external devices to it. So, in order to obtain the upcoming requirements, we are just altering the system. See, initially the phone was of a very uh, huge size. Now it has been reduced, reduced, reduced. The size of the phone has been reduced. And uh, uh, the applications what were in the previous 2G or 3G mobile has been improved. The applications have been improved. That means we have done some modifications in the system in order to meet the requirement. So such a redesign or alteration of the system using an additional suitable device is called as a compensation of the control system that means we are adding some altering or we are adding some more components to the present system in order to meet the requirement next level requirements that is nothing but a compensation of a control system while an external device which is used to alter the behavior of the system so as to give the so as to achieve given specifications is called as a compensator so we are adding an external device okay so and uh, there are three types of compensators that is series compensator parallel compensator series parallel compensator that means uh, coming to the series compensator this is my series compensator see here in this series compensator i have added one this is uh, my gc office is nothing but my compensator i have added a compensator in series with the gain in series with this open loop transfer function so here uh, this is my input and I have added one compensation uh, compensator in series with the given system then this is called as a series compensator and if I added a one parallel compensation to the given system is nothing but a parallel compensation technique see here we have added in series and we have added in parallel the combination of these two is nothing but our series parallel compensation this is gc1 is my series compensator and gc2 is my parallel compensator mostly by using this uh, series parallel compensator we are going to reduce the size and we are going to improve the performance of the system so see here the co uh, correspond compensating networks here here we have we have compensation types and uh, com coming to the compensation compensating network the compensator is a physical device it may be an electrical network or a mechanical unit or hydraulic or combination of both that means we are going to add either an electrical network or mechanical network or whatever it may be to the given system to improve its performance see the commonly used electrical compensating networks are here we are going to use only electrical compensating networks those are lead network or lead compensator lag network or lag compensator lag lead compensate network or uh, lag lead compensator that means here we are the commonly used electronic electrical compensating networks are mainly three types that is lead network that is also called as lead compensator and the second one is lag network it is also called as lag compensator and the last one is uh, lag lead compensator 
lag lead compensator and we are going to discuss each and every term that is lead compensator lag compensator and lag lead compensator in detail in the upcoming classes so what is the meaning of lead and what is the meaning of lag see here for example if we are applying any sinusoidal signal to the given input uh, system as an input that means i am just giving a sinusoidal signal as input to the system what i have then there will be output as sinusoidal signal as it is but when we are applying the sinusoidal signal to a lead compensator then there will be a change that is there will be an increase in the phase of the lead compensator when coming to the lag compensator there will be a decrease in the lag compensator whereas in the case of uh, lag and the lead compensators there will be a decrease and increase in the output but at different frequencies i repeat i repeat whenever we are applying a sinusoidal signal to the given network suppose for if you are applying this sinusoidal signal to a lead compensator then there will be a rise in the phase angle thus if it is applied to the lag compensator then there will be a delay or a decrease in the phase if we are applying it to a lag lead uh, compensator then there will be a increase and a decrease of the phase angle but at different frequencies see here when a sinusoidal input is applied to a network it produces sinusoidal steady state output having a phase lead with respect to input then the network is called a lead network if a output has a phase lag then the network is called a lag network so in case both if in the lag lead network both phase lag and lead but means lag and lead will occur but at different frequencies so see here the the phase lag occurs in the low frequency region while the phase lead occurs in the high frequency regions <coughs> okay so these are the compensating techniques what we are going to uh, learn in the next class so uh, that means uh, in, in depth we are going to learn about lead compensator lag compensator as well as lag lead compensator so in the next class we are going to discuss lead compensator in detail thank you